We have an update now to our breaking news. The school bus accident in Sterling Heights that started with a road rage incident. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell is live on the scene now. She brings us the latest. Kim. Yeah, this is so scary for parents. It happened on 15 Mile at Dequinder, and you can see the bus. The school district has its tow truck here getting ready to clear it right now, so the traffic issue out here will be clearing up soon. In the meantime, I'm told that one child on the bus was taken to the hospital injured for treatment because of this accident. And actually, it may not have been an accident at all. I'm joined by Devon Yono, and he was involved in a crash between two vehicles that happened before another vehicle hit the bus. Tell me what happened. Yeah, basically, I was coming uh, east from Maple Road, and I beeped the horn on someone, and the guy, uh, I guess he didn't like that, and uh, he came out of the car, you know, he blocked me as I'm making a right turn. He came out of the car, and he ripped off my uh, windshield wiper, and then as I'm going straight, he came again in front of me, blocked me, and I went around him. I'm driving, and all of a sudden, I hear a collision. He hits me. He spins me around, and I come into this driveway over here, and he hit the bus. Oh, my gosh, how frightening. What was going through your mind? Um... You know, it was kind of scary, you know, getting hit. I didn't know. I just, I didn't know what was happening. You know, I was surprised. You had to wonder if he was going to physically harm you. Fortunately, it looks like you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. And talk about just the aftermath with all the kids on the bus and, yeah, and I, what I, happened. I felt bad because, you know, I would never want to be a parent and, you know, get that call. You know, uh, your, your kid was involved in an accident on the bus. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know what was going through that guy's mind. I guess it was road rage. And your message to drivers after experiencing this? You know, it's not worth it. It's not worth the road rage. You know, if someone beeps the horn, if someone flips you off, just ignore it. Thank you so much for There's taking time. I'm glad that you are okay. In the meantime, the road is about to clear, so the traffic situation will ease up, and we'll stay on top of this and find out how that child that was her is. I am told that the driver that was involved in the road rage, the person who police believe is the aggressor, was also injured in this accident. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. You know, earlier today we saw some, some video from Chopper 7 of an adult being put in the back of the ambulance. We had thought maybe that was the bus driver. Kim, have you heard anything about if the bus driver suffered injuries? You know, I talked to some officials on the scene, and they told me that the bus driver, they do not believe, was injured. It's so hard in these situations. Sometimes people have different information. It yes. sounds like the driver that was injured was the one involved in the road rage, allegedly responsible for it. All right, so scary. I know you're working, like you said, to find out how that child is. We're hoping and praying for the best, certainly. So, Kim Russell, thank you so much. Keep us posted.